Hey tribe! We're getting ready for Halloween around here and so today I have a fun and easy craft for you to add a little bit of spookiness to your Halloween decor. Today we're going to be making this friendly little ghost that looks awesome when you illuminate it. If you have any Christmas lights or tap lights, any kind of light source to add under these little guys, it gives him an awesome little glow. So, today what you're going to need for this project is a white dish towel that is lightweight, so like a cheesecloth would be great, or these white dish towels I got from Walmart, and they were in a pack, and I think they're probably around five dollars in the dish towel section. You're also going to need glue all, fabric stiffener, black felt, masking tape, toilet paper rolls, some scissors, oops, a hot glue gun, you're going to need grocery bags and some canisters or a sand pail that you would use at the beach to make sand castle type things. Anything that you can stack up. And this is going to be for our form to make our ghost. You're also going to need a balloon. So, right now I'm going to show you how to make the form for your ghost. For your form, you're going to grab your canisters and stack them up. Now, there's two different ways to do it. It depends upon the height that you want for your ghost. This ghost has a more floating look to him where he stands on just the tips or you can hang him. This guy can sit on the floor and look as if that he's gliding along the floor or sitting on a tabletop. In this one, you will gather the fabric underneath. So for the shorter one, I did one canister with the balloon on top. For the taller ghost, I double stacked the canisters and did a balloon on top. So we're going to go ahead and do the double stack. So you take your balloon, center it in your canister, Take your strips of masking tape and just attach it. You just want to center the balloon. You don't have to hold it tightly on. You just want to make sure it stays in place. The next step is taking your grocery bag and gather it just like this and we're going to wrap it around in between the balloon and the canister to fill this void so that way when you hang your towel it doesn't fall into this space and create a dent with your fabric so we're just going to wrap this around and tape it on. There we go. Okay, now I know you're wondering why in the world we need toilet paper holders. So these are going to sit around evenly spaced on your canister and it's going to help form these folds right here. I use the toilet paper holders to grab on to these pleats that we're going to make in the fabric. So I'll show you how to do that. And for now, we're just gonna try to evenly space them around. You also need to go ahead and put a piece of tape inside your tube. So that way you can just hang it on. Now once you wet your towel and drape it over, if they're not placed where in between where the corners are, you can move them around easily. So just go ahead and try to stick them on evenly around for now, and then you can move them after your towel is draped over. And this does look kind of silly, but it works. 
and it makes this really awesome shape. So, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is soak our towel and get ready to make our ghost. So let's go ahead and move on to the glue and water mixture. So the glue and water mixture are equal parts. So about half a bottle of glue to about a cup of water. And then you're going to take your towel and soak it into your mixture. So you can use a Tupperware or anything like that to make your glue and water mixture. This one I was playing around with, it's kind of got some stiffness to it already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and soak this guy. Now that he's good and soaked, we're going to squeeze out a lot of the liquid. Now set your pail aside. You're gonna to wanna to cover your surface area, especially using the spray stiffener because it's going to get all over your work surface. Now you're just gonna take your towel And you're going to fling it out over top of your of your form. We're going to overlap the fabric right here. And these holders help give it something to hang on to since the fabric is soaked. So you're going to go around each side and form your ghost by overlapping each of those pleats, each of your corners. If you find that your toilet paper holders aren't in the right place, you can just move them around. So now that you have your glue soaked towel draped over your form and it's looking in the shape that you want, you're going to now take your fabric stiffener and apply it to the entire towel. And you might want to lift your folds, your pleats, right here and give it a little spray in between each pleat.
Now that your ghost is all wet, soaked with glue water, soaked with your fabric stiffener, you're gonna let it dry overnight and it should be ready by morning. And that way you can apply his ghost eyes. But since I already have one ready to go, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now it's time to apply your ghost's eyes to give it that character you're looking for. So you're gonna need your scissors, you're gonna need your black felt, and a hot glue gun. So basically you can give the eyes any kind of shape that you want. Go ahead and cut a strip about two inches off your felt square. Fold it in half, just like that. Then fold it again. That way your eyes will match. So now you can cut with an oval shape. Then to, if you want to trim any off, trim it off and then lay it on top of your other piece and trim around. Now we have two eyes. And then it just amazingly brings your ghost to life. Now you're gonna take your hot glue. And figure out which side, figure out which side you want to be the front of your ghost. And then you're going to apply the eyes. And there you have it. Now that you have the most perfect little ghosts to sit on your table, and they look amazing with a light underneath them. So if you have any Christmas lights or a tea light, a tap light, any kind of light source you can put underneath these little guys, they look so great all lit up. So I'm going to attach a picture and show you what they look like, just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. It's fun and an easy, cheap way to add a little bit of something fun to your Halloween decor. Until next time, happy crafting everyone. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and don't forget to hit that bell.